Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I could have used a few more minutes, but the food is ready. Uh, I'm making a rice bowl. So today I saw this guy in Walmart buying taquitos. So I thought I'm gonna buy some of those. Those will come in handy, like tonight. So let's fry three of them. Uh, this is seven serving sizes, but one serving size is only uh, two because there was 20. Okay, let me get those going. This is another easy meal too. Okay, so I fried some potatoes. I mentioned to you guys many times that I told my son, if you ever have to eat potatoes for real, make sure you, if you ever have to eat beans and rice, make sure you have potatoes. So I'll keep those warm in. So what I have here is, what did I do with it? One half can of beans. I must have bought these at Walmart. Okay, so now, uh, if you don't have milk, stop drinking my milk. Well, as long as it's not alive. If you don't have cheese, you can, uh, if you don't want to add, you need to add some fat. But, um, you can use lard or bacon grease, but if you add cheese, that is just as good. So, um, this is the 1% milk I got at the food pantry last month, about a month ago, I think, or a few weeks ago. So, um, if you don't have cheese, you can use milk. You can, I fry chorizo and bacon, you can use bacon fat. Okay, my. Okay, so I'm making a tasty rice bowl. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I forgot to pour the tea in my tea pot. I was trying to rush like crazy because this rice bowls can be labor intensive, but that is okay. All right, now where's my notes? Okay, um, this video is three items to buy when you're broke. A uh, Mexican rice bowl, uh, plenty of food in the future. So the three items are going to provide plenty of items in the future. So uh, let's see. Uh, the first item I bought was these beef taquitos, five for five dollars and twenty-three cents, twenty-six cents each. I will do a product review. Uh, they have a name brand, but these look good. I wouldn't be too. Uh, uh, the guy said he cooks his in uh, the microwave. Walmart. So, um, the first thing is, what did I do with those? Okay, the first thing is the taquitos. Or, Walmart also had, uh, like, a box of, like, 12 burritos. And they also have, um, they also have the good, um, cheeseburgers and uh, chicken sandwiches. I think those are taking a bite out of the fast food uh, business. That kind of stuff doesn't help at all, you know? No hassle, come home, pop them in the microwave. You're ready to go. Nobody else's hands touching your food or sneezing on your food. Okay, so I have beans and milk. So the three items. The other thing I bought was a box of beef taquitos. I ate all the beef, so I thought I'm going to get these. How much were these? These were uh, $2.99, so they've gone up $0.50. Cents. Uh, there's an expiration on these, too. Oh, it's very hard to find the expiration, so I got... So 
you'll notice these are seven mils, 12 mils, and then I bought this uh, uh, baking mix. You can make biscuits, pancakes, you know, shortcakes, and I have some other ones. I, I like my taquitos very, very, uh, very, very uh, crispy. So uh, these, this will make a lot of meals too. Let's see if they have serving size, 28 serving size. So this is enough for a month. Uh, I'm gonna leave these for a minute. Okay, so the Mexican rice bowl. Uh, and I'm gonna do uh, 4th of July out of the stockpile and low cost food eat tonight and store. That's these three items. Okay, so um, think about uh, for a rice bowl, you need rice. You can make regular rice, but I have stockpiled this and these are uh, three servings. They say, I think that's kind of a big serving. I made a half a batch so it, this contains one cup rice you need two um, tablespoons of butter, and the little packet is a quarter cup, so uh, half a quarter cup. So rice, beans, uh, I, I think the canned beans are fine. Uh, and then what I will do, this is a good beans, is I will freeze and then um, fried potatoes. Okay, so look, my beans are looking good. I want to get them really boiling. You can make them thicker. You can make a burrito. But um, the main thing is, do you like this food? <laughs> yeah, I like this food. Okay, I have stockpiled cheese. And when I eat all this cheese down, uh, I will from now on buy big bags of cheese. Always to have big, huge bags. Oh, I think they're done. So that is quick and easy. All right. So now all we have to do is put together our rice bowl. Oh, my beans look good. All right. Here is the rice aroni. My husband used to love rice aroni. When I was married to him, we used to eat it all the time. All right, now, so the point, this is gonna be a very large rice bowl. Maybe I better use a larger bowl, I think so. All right. Okay, so, um, We have rice. Uh, this is good um, Spanish rice. And then we have uh, beans, refried beans, half a can. I read uh, the AI, you know, we got that AI app. And we asked the, um, the AI what leads to insomnia. And one of the worst is eating a lot before bed. I go, oh, the AI knows all. Okay, so uh, here is how we my fried potatoes. And there is my taquitos. I would make these... If, well, I did make this kind of stuff when my boy was little, but I would make it once in a while, and I would say every single time to my child, if you ever have to eat beans and rice, make sure you have potatoes. All right, uh, let me see now. I bought um, sour cream. The guacamole, let's see if this stuff's going to come out. I 
I bought this marked down and it has a long expiration date on it too. So I like uh, ketchup on my uh, potatoes and then sour cream is tasty. The guacamole is too much of a, okay. The guacamole, half of it goes rotten. You know, I don't know. Unless you're gonna eat it that day, I wouldn't bother. And I want some ketchup on my potatoes. And I want some hot sauce on my uh, refried beans with milk and cheese. All right. So, um, here you have it. This is cheaper than a frozen dinner. Kids would love it. All right. Oh, I, I can recommend these um, taquitos. So um, these are going to give you a lot of food. So um, I want to talk about um, I want to talk about food storage in a minute because I've kind of changed my idea on this. All right. So now. With the biscuit mix, you can make biscuits and gravy. It could be sausage gravy, bacon gravy, any kind of bake gravy. Uh, biscuits and chicken, biscuits and eggs, biscuits and pancakes. To make dumplings, you make biscuits and you cut them in a biscuit and cut it in four pieces and then put it on your stew or your soup. Donuts, uh, biscuits with honey, and then I put sausage gravy. Okay, so now, um, uh, let's see, where did I write this? Um, now, I have um, taquitos with, oh, and I'm having iced tea to drink. So, taquitos with sausages and grits, eggs and potatoes, chili, tomato soup, potatoes and fries, corn chowder. So you can make all kinds of things and, and I have done, I'll be doing more, um, I'll be doing more top ramens. Fry hamburger and a half a can of mushrooms and some hot sauce and uh, you'll be uh, fine. So, uh, you know, say, I don't want a grocery store in my house. You don't really need one. Now, for the 4th of July, I bought hot wings, but it could be any chicken. So today I bought one of these. I don't want to spend a lot on the 4th of July, but I want to enjoy life. Chicken wings with uh, lemon pepper, potato salad. I've given you guys my potato salads a million times. Um, potato salad jello. I love uh, lime jello. And then I got a good recipe today, and it was for um, a fruit salad. So you can put this on top of your jello, or you can just put a fruit cocktail in your jello. So um, equal parts evaporated milk, coconut milk, and condensed milk, kind of like trace leche. You get it cold, you get your fruit cold, and then you pour that over your fruit. And then I like jello. Also, though, you could just get your fruit and you could put um, some vanilla pudding or you could make a pie. So that's a good cheap thing. Uh, this is the tea. I, I got a I got tea at one point. This this is good. Cranberry tea. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to have some green beans. And on holidays, I like to cook my green beans slowly with a couple pieces of bacon. 
that's festive. That's, that's. So that is, also you can contop this fruit with granola. And then I'm going to make a cake. Okay, now back to the food storage. Okay, I started thinking about the food storage and the money as a prudent reserve. So a prudent reserve would be one to three months, not to exceed a year. So, okay, uh, they usually say a uh, stockpile for uh, like three weeks. So, start out with one day, like Friday. Like if you get paid, don't cash your paycheck till Monday. Then two days, that'd be Saturday. And then three days, that'd be Sunday. Just try to suffer until Monday. So uh, then you have until the next Friday before you get paid again. So um, then you would go for one week, two weeks, and four weeks. So this is quite a few meals. Okay, and then store. I mean, really what we're storing for is... This is good, you guys. Mm. We're storing for some kind of a disaster or an emergency. This rice is good. All right. Now, if we're storing low cost food for an emergency, we're not wasting money. Like we're not spending a lot of our spendable income on food for a rainy day. But you can eat it next week. Like this food, I can eat it tomorrow or in a few months. So uh, you don't waste your money. You don't spend money you can't afford. You just buy a couple of these items, $4, $3, and $5, so about $12. I also bought a package of uh, Rapid Rise. I bought two of them for bread making. That's not something you want to run out of. Uh, so you eat it now or you eat it later. You can survive two or three months. So say if like you were having biscuits with peanut butter or soup, you could survive. Also, if you had to purge it or leave it, it's not the end of the world. It didn't cost that much. I think it's to be avoided as storing for an emergency like your everyday life. This is an emergency. This is life and death. You could purge it. You could give it away if, if you had to. Or you could leave it without much loss financially. So there's very little investment in the cheap food. And then what's good about this is if like there was something like some uh, like some uh, depression or something, you would have some idea what to do. All right, let me give you a picture, uh, a shot of this. Some of you might want to take a screenshot. Hello, if you're not from America. So, um, I have a lot of chicken in my refrigerator. I bet I bought whole body chickens, very cheap. And I could have chicken, rice, and beans as well. I could swap these um, these taquitos for bean burritos. I think I'm going to buy those next. Okay, so now I want to give you some uh, cheap food. I've been buying pizzas for $5. I think the Ralphs are a good deal. Cooked chickens, I, I found those so cheap. Taquitos, uh, hamburgers, and chicken burgers, and burritos, like from uh, Walmart or um, Dollar Tree. Soup and crackers, lunch meat and cheese sandwich, eggs, bacon or sausage, and fried potatoes. So I would make sure I always have potatoes in the house. 
stuff potatoes. Uh, usually I would stuff them with meat, meat gravy and hot dogs with rice or potatoes. So let me give you a shot of that. Part of this thing now that's so important is to save money. Almost more important than food. But you, the, the thing about food is you can eat this, like I might eat half of this tonight and half of this tomorrow. Okay, I wanna show you. Here is one of the flower arrangements, but I just have it uh, together with um, you know a tie and because on these kind of projects you just want to get started so I'm making my Christmas tree like a big huge arrangement and then I'm arranging three cluster bulbs and so I need to work on that a little bit all the time so I wanted to tell you guys that thank you for watching my video I really appreciate it um, uh, two homemade things that are good are yogurt and peanut butter. I know I keep drumming that, but I think it's so important. Uh, I did, my videos got very messed up. And one of my uh, videos I took, I mean, they were so messed up, I took one down. So I wanted to tell you some stuff from that um, video. If, if I can't find it, I'll, I'll tell it to you tomorrow. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about some of this stuff. I don't know if I can find it. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, I wanted to talk about the end of days. Okay, a lot of people are going, this is it. It is World War III. This is the end of days. I don't think it's the end of days. Uh, it might be World War III. Uh, it's kind of escalating. It might just be a dangerous um, Cold War like we had last time that went on and on for years. Um, okay, and now I want to talk about the end of times will be a lawless time. That means there will be total disregard for the law. So you don't want to get out in these crowds because you never know some people will be there to do nothing but cause harm, possibly. Uh, some people are, you know, like maybe you're like me. You do what you do every day. Uh, like my idea is whatever happens, I want to adjust and, and um, adapt. Uh, I've been watching some videos in China and the people were violent. Uh, you know, they're so upset. So you don't know about the other guy. Chances are, though, it's not going to come to that if you do some of this stuff. So you want to do some of this stuff, especially if you're poor like I am. Okay, and then there's this aspect of the end of times people will be lovers of darkness rather than light. So they'll like all kinds of disagreeable things that a few years ago were totally uh, out of the social norm. But now it is. So we're looking to that. Violence will fill the earth. Wars and rumors of um, wars. So um, I just wanted to mention that. Um, I think all we can do is uh, just vote. At this, uh, this aspect of universal income, that will be mostly for poor people who don't have jobs, like these homeless people. It looks like they're building, it's kind of like socialism actually, building um, dwellings for them, you know, those seem to be cropping up and you would be living in those uh, with just barely, barely enough money to get by. So if that is your situation now, you want to adapt to that, like go to the food pantries, uh, buy everything you use, don't spend any money, um, you know, um, conserve all your money, uh, eat some decent food, but cheap food a couple times a week, uh, store up some food, like big bags of potatoes, big bags of rice. Um, these, uh, this makes good donuts. I'm not buying donuts. This is $4. You know how many donuts I can make out of this? Pancakes, waffles, 
Um, you can make bread out of this stuff. So uh, when, when you buy your food, say to yourself, well, how many meals is this actually going to give me? Like uh, the big, okay, like the taquitos is seven meals. Like the 12 burritos, you know, um, you know, frozen food is fine. Just make sure it's something you like to eat. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. My, my uh, bowl looks like a hot mess, but it's very tasty. <laughs>